Welcome back everyone, this is Sam here. In this video lesson, we are going to learn how to create a gunshot effect in JavaScript. The prerequisite for this video lesson is a gunshot image in a PNG format and a gunshot audio file. Let's create a new directory inside this. Gunshot effect. And I'm going to copy these files and paste it here. Let's go and learn how to code this Sublime Text Editor. Let's save this file inside this directory. Then the HTML file octet and the HTML snippet. Okay, my title is Gunshot Effect in JS. Let's add the gunshot image in the HTML document. The sources gunshot.png. Let's add little CSS to this. My class name is gun short position sorry position absolute and I am adding this class here gun iPhone and short This is a very powerful type of positioning that allows you to literally place any page element exactly where you want it. You use the positioning attributes top, left, bottom and right to set the location. Remember that these values will be relative to the next parent element with relative positioning. If there is no such element, if there is no such parent, by default it will be this, uh, this, this element will be relative to the parent HTML element this parent HTML element let's open the document in the browser Con short effect yes yes now the gunshot image is visible by default but we do not want to show this image by default let's hide this by simply adding an inline style to this display none this will hide the image element let's check this let's go to the javascript part first of all we need to add the event listener for the mouse click event window on click equal to can short we are done adding the event listener for every mouse click the gunshot method will be called as of now there is no such method okay let's add the gunshot method now function gunshot okay it will send the event parameter Now what we are going to do is, first, we are going to clone the image element. So, clone the image element. Then we are going to append the cloned element to the HTML document. Append it to the HTML document. So by default, this image, the image element will be hidden since we added display none. So we need to remove the display and property from this. So remove the display and style. Then the fourth point is we need to show the image exactly where the mouse click happened. Show image at the mouse coordinates. Yeah. 
and finally we need to add the sound effect to this okay let's clone the image document dot get element by id the id is sorry we need to give the id so cut short shot is the id now so clone node so this method will clone the image element okay so what it will do is it will return the cloned copy of the image element so we need to store the reference in some variable like this done the second point is we need to append this element to the html document document dot body dot happen child of el so the element is appended now now we need to remove the display and style so that's very simple element dot style dot display equal to so this will remove the display and property display and style from the element okay now what we need to do is now we need to now we need to show the image exactly at the mouse clicked position let's do it element dot style dot lift equal to event dot client x pixel and this will be our top and this will be our y this even dot client x and even dot client y will give you the mouse coordinates so now we are uh, we are directly setting that value to this elements let's check this in the browser i'm clicking here yeah perfect but see the gunshot image is not aligned center to this mouse pointer so we need to fix this now let's fix it element dot offset width by 2 offset height by 2 the offset width property returns the width of an element in pixels same the offset height property returns the height of the element in pixels I am dividing these values by 2 to position the image center to the mouse pointer. Let's check whether it is fixed or not. Yes, it's fixed. The final thing is the gunshot sound. When the mouse is clicked, we need to uh, play the gunshot sound. Let's do it. In order to add a sound to the HTML document, we need to create an audio object. So I'm adding here where short sound equal to new audio and the source is resources slash gun sound dot mp3 and finally short sound dot play yeah that's it let's shoot yeah gunshot effect in jace is done now hope you enjoyed this video lesson thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again bye bye